In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a business growth chart with the help of a arrow. And this is how the slide looks when I click. It will show you the 2017, then 2018, 2019, and then 2020. So it will give you a very good slide for your presentation to show the progress of the company where it started in 2017 with $5,000 and in 2020 it's $100,000. So I've given different colors to represent the growth of the company. And let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. And before that, uh, my voice is not good today because of some cold. So please bear with me. Add a new slide, then go to insert. And I'm going to use smart art, select the smart art and go to maybe a process and select this one which is upward arrow and click OK button. So I'm not going to use this smart art. I'm just going to copy this uh, arrow. So I'm just going to select this arrow. Control C. Click outside of the smart art object and right mouse click and you can just simply paste it. So you can see here the arrow got pasted and this one I'm just going to delete it. So I'm just going to use the arrow for my design. Go to format and rotate. Click on flip vertical and using the circular arrow I'm just going to move it upwards and you can reduce the size by holding the shift key. So the size has been reduced and right mouse click go to edit points and if you want you can just change the header of the arrow for example you can just make it something like this then go to insert shapes and select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and give some different color now i'm going to break this or cut this arrow into four pieces for that i'm going to use this rectangle and just put the rectangle here the first one reduce the width a little bit less then control d put it for the second one again control d this is for the third one so this will be piece one piece two piece three and piece four i'm just going to select all or you can just press control a to select all the objects, go to Format, Merge Shapes, and say Fragment. And I'm just going to delete this one. Or you can just select this and delete it. So you can see here, I've got four different parts of the arrow. Then select each piece and give some different colors. Go to Format and start giving color of your choice and then I'm going to insert one more rectangle select shapes go to rectangle draw a rectangle at the bottom maybe this much width shape fill I'm going to give some gray color shape outline make it no outline and then go to insert shapes I'm going to select one oval shape. Click here, it will create an oval shape of one inches. And shape fill, make it white. So a shape outline, make it a gray, dark gray color. Shape fill, make it white. And shape outline, the weight increase to maybe six points and then reduce the size by holding the shift key and put this one here. Then I'm going to insert shapes. I'm going to select a line. This line, I'm just going to put it pointing towards the arrow. Make sure that the line is straight and right mouse click, go to format shape. And here I will say end arrow type I will say this one which is oval arrow 
so instead of top it has come to bottom again i'm just going to select this this one begin arrow type it should be no arrow and the end arrow type should be this one and shape outline make it some gray color so i'm just going to copy this now Control d put it for the second arrow and the same thing copy this Control d and put it here and increase the size to touch to the arrow then again Control d this is for the third part and increase the size to touch and then the last one control D so you can see here the design is almost ready if you want you can make somewhat the size to be this much maybe three points now you can add the text also or if you feel that this arrow header is not good right mouse click edit point and just increase the size something like this also then go to insert text and put the text i'm just going to put for example this is for 2000 say 17 i'll just put it at the down and choose the right font for this i'm going to use century gothic make it bold reduce the size for just center aligned control d put it for the other one control d and control d so this is 2018 this is 2019 and this is 2020 and make sure that all are aligned properly go to format align top and then you can put the main labels here go to insert text box maybe the growth or the revenue was five thousand dollars i'll just put this again change the font make it bold if you want you can increase the size and add the text below So let me just copy the text bring the text here if you want you can make it center align again control d select both objects press control d and sorry and move it here again control d move this here Control D and move it to the top and then you can change the whatever the for example I'll just say 50k and this will be 100k so you can see here the design is ready now it's time to do the animation so to add the animation first select this particular line for example I'll just select this line Close the format shape, go to animations, enable the animation pane and add animation. Go to more entrance effects and just say stretch. Stretch effect options, make it left. And then this particular small oval shape should come. Add animation. I can go to more entrance effects and basic zoom and click OK. This should happen after previous and then the year 
add animation more intense effect stretch and this stretch effects make it from top and this should happen with previous and if i play it will come something like this and then this line should come for that again i'm going to use the same animation which is stretch now this should happen from bottom if you want you can happen with previous so it will come it will look something like this and then i'll select this and you can add any animation maybe more intense effects maybe your strips click ok and effect options save from right up it comes something like this after previous and then this text i'm going to group this press ctrl g and click up here this should happen after previous and when i click play it comes something like this so now using the animation painter simple i can copy the animation to the other object so first select this animation painter click on this then i'll select this animation painter click on this so only thing is for this i will make it on click then i'm going to select this click here then this arrow and then the text i'm going to group it control g and animation painter so if i play it will be something like this so then you can just copy and paste the animation to the rest of the other objects That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.